Hi, my name is Ron Spears, and this is my presentation on reading comprehension best practices. Reading comprehension is fundamental to understanding, processing, and critically thinking about content. Students who struggle with reading comprehension often feel frustrated and a dissatisfaction with reading. Finding reading interventions and strategies to improve reading comprehension is vital to helping students be successful, not just in school, but throughout their lives. My current student has significant challenges in reading comprehension based on his Down syndrome diagnosis. He currently reads at a fourth grade level, which requires a variety of tier one interventions in order for him to access the curriculum. The best practices I currently use in order to promote reading comprehension are story mapping, collaborative reading strategies, and capitalizing on his visual spatial learning style with accompanying visual aids. Much of the research tells us that students with learning disabilities have difficulty in developing typical story structure awareness at an early age that continues through high school. This prevents them from identifying, making inferences, and recalling critical elements of what they read. Story mapping is one strategy to aid students with learning disabilities while they engage with the text. This gives them a visual framework of the story structure and key components typically in the form of a graphic organizer. According to a study conducted by Boone, students who were identified with learning disabilities were given a story map prior to reading a passage and a control group was not given a story map. The result of the study showed that the experimental group outperformed the control group and scores from pre and post tests on basal questions, story grammar questions, written retells, theme identification, embedded story structure, and finally comprehension. This indicates the efficacy of using story mapping as an intervention for students with learning disabilities to improve reading comprehension. In my own experience, when teaching about the early Portuguese explorers, students were given level text through Nuzella to learn about the people, key events, historical details, and the impact each explorer had on the world. Through the use of story maps, Nick was better able to contribute to the discussion that followed as I could ask him specific questions from his story map that he could respond to giving me, a, giving me assessment data on his level of comprehension. Collaborative reading strategies is an intervention meant to provide struggling readers with learning disabilities, different strategies that will help them better comprehend the text. It is a multi-component reading model that begins with teacher-led preview of the text, including vocabulary and key concepts. Then a small reading group where there are planned breaks for discussion as well as questions they may have about the text. Then students work together to identify the main ideas, themes, and concepts. And finally, students respond to questions about the text using evidence to support their answers. Research shows that when students are engaged in individual processing of information while engaging in social interaction, such as a reading group, they are better able to understand what they are reading. According to Boardman, in a study with 360 students, over 50% of them being ELL learners, over a two-week period, students in the experimental group that applied the concepts of collaborative reading strategies made statistically significant gains to their overall reading comprehension when compared to the control group. An example of when I used this in practice was on an excerpt from Man's Search for Meaning, a book written by psychologist Viktor Frankl, and his experiences of the concentration camp that he was held at during World War II. I organized groups of four and asked them to write down things that they already knew about concentration camps and the Holocaust. Then I asked them to share with each other what they wrote to further activate prior knowledge. Finally, they are asked to write what they think this excerpt is going to be about based on the title of the book. This gives me con concrete written data about the effectiveness of this strategy. I have found that when I use this strategy, every student in the classroom performs better on post-reading discussions or assessments, not just the struggling readers. The use of visual aids to supplement the text in pre-thematic, thematic, and post-thematic ways provides a secondary opportunity for struggling readers to access the text. This interaction between the text and visuals has been demonstrated in a study conducted for the Journal of Theory and Practice in Language Studies to be effective at improving reading comprehension. Researchers found that when incorporating mental models of the subject matter, whether pictures, animations, or other visual cues, students were better able to perform on post-tests measuring reading comprehension. This is supported by the well-known principle of dual encoding processing theory, where students learn much more if the instruction is delivered through two modalities, for example, auditory and visual. 
In their, in their study, researchers selected 150 students who performed one standard deviation below the mean on reading comprehension. At the conclusion of the 16-week study, students made statistically significant gains on their reading comprehension scores through the use of visual aids. I have used this strategy with struggling readers to help them grasp the main themes or characters of a text that they can preview before the reading and refer to during the reading. An infographic was used on a reading on a reading the class did about the conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians. This is a challenging topic for many students and struggling readers have an even more difficult time making sense of the complexities of the conflict. This infographic gave them something to anchor their to anchor to the reading so that they could focus on the fundamental aspects of the conflict. Nick's ability to answer questions about the conflict with or without referring back to the infographic gave me data on the value of this intervention. Reading, com reading comprehension is a critical skill that all students must master before they leave the public school system. Struggling readers are particularly a group that teachers need to focus on to improve reading comprehension. Best practices can guide instructional strategies for interventions and research has shown these to contribute to statistically significant gains in reading comprehension. Giving students an opportunity to grow as readers by providing them with, with supports can make reading less stressful and more meaningful.